We played, we laughed, we were loved. We were ripped from the arms of our parents and thrown into the fire. We were nothing more than children. We had a future. We were going to be lawyers, rabbis, wives, teachers, mothers. We had dreams, then we had no hope. We were taken away in the dead of night, like cattle and cars. No air to breathe, smothering, crying, starving, dying. Separated from the world to be no more. From the ashes, hear our plea. This atrocity to mankind cannot happen again. Remember us. For we were the children whose dreams and lives were stolen away. What makes it possible for a human being to murder a child? It's hardly believable that the human beings would do this. These same human beings who were law-abiding citizens but unfortunately, it is possible to take a society which has a moral compass and convert it to murderers. It's propaganda. First, small steps. I don't like you. I don't want you to be in my classroom. I don't want you to live in my neighborhood or in my country. And eventually, I don't want you to live at all. That transformation took not centuries. The whole period of the Nazi existence was all of 12 years, from 1933 to 1945. We normally speak of 6 million Jews, one and a half million children. It's a number, but that's not a number. These are one and a half million children, individual human beings, who had parents, siblings. People look at these photographs. What does the face say to you? You see a child with a pair of heavy glasses. Is this here a budding scientist? Or is he a bookworm? You see one that is looking healthy and boisterous almost. Is he a potential soccer player? Is it not possible that one of these children could have been the one who came up with cure for cancer? Is that possible? Some of the photographs, particularly of three children, it's a most horrifying story. Twenty children were used in the camp of Neugam near Hamburg for experiments. But it was towards the end of the war, and so the British were coming within a matter of days. But now you have children who have been injected with various types of bacillus. And so the doctor decides that the only reasonable thing to do is to get rid of him. So they transfer him from the camp into a school in Hamburg, take the children to the basement, and hang them. Most evil event that I can think of. You're talking about four weeks before the end of World War II. Continue to murder. One of the photographs is of my brother. My brother was a very spiritual person. He was a very gentle soul. I was with him in Auschwitz. I was with him on the death march. I was with him in Buchenwald. One day we were standing in formation to be counted and he and another hundred people are taken away. I never saw him again. But he lives with me. There's not a day that it goes by that I don't think of him. So in a way, I feel responsible that he's telling me, go out and tell the world what evil is. Tell the world it mustn't happen again. Not just to the Jewish people, to no one. When you see oppression, when you see poverty, when you see injustice in any form or any shape, it's in your school or halfway around the world. Don't stand by and do nothing. We can always do something to help other human beings.